take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. So, yes, you can romance them both in ME2. But be careful if you intend to go back to Liara in ME3. If you break up with Miranda, she won't survive priority, Horizon no matter what you do. If you break up with Miranda, she won't survive priority, Horizon no matter what you do. Take our lead. Yes, Liara does love Shep even if she doesn't romance her. I just picture it as a crush that deepens into a serious friendship if the romance isn't pursued. She's intensely loyal, more so than most of the crew. Kudos to this. Make your mark, take our lead. Liara will find out about Allers but that doesn't lock her out as a romance option. She'll mention it if you sleep with Allers after Rannick but as long as you talk to her at the ramp on the Citadel you can lock her in. Until you actually speak to her at the ramp you are just considered being in a flirtation state. Let's help you make your mark. The Lair of the Shadow Broker DLC is where the majority of your romantic interactions with Liara will take place in Mass Effect 2. Your first romantic interaction with Liara will occur at the end of the Ilium section and you get the coordinates to the Shadow Broker's base of operations. Let's help you make your mark. The only way that you can start a romance with Taylai in Mass Effect 3 is by starting the romance in Mass Effect 2. Taylai will only start a romance with a male Shepard character. It is not possible to romance Taylai in Mass Effect 3 if you do not import a file from the previous game. Take our lead. Because Liara isn't property, Shepard fully acknowledges that she had every right to move on, take notes, Kaiden, and that her falling in love with someone else after Shepard's death plus two years is not considered cheating. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.